I don't just want to probe into the idea that we all get abuse, and no doubt we're going to hear a lot of that today, because we all get abuse, and I've had a death threat this week that literally quoted the Prime Minister and used the Prime Minister's name and words in a death threat that was delivered to my staff. Um, so we know that it, it gets out. What I want to look at today, and what I want answers to today, is when there is a clear strategy to divide. The use of language yesterday and over the past few weeks, such as the surrender bill, such as invoking the war, such as talking about betrayal and treachery, it has clearly been tested and workshopped and worked up, and it is entirely designed to inflame hatred and division. I get it. It works. It is working. I, I mean, we're all ambitious. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not ambitious, but I also have a soul. It is not sincere. It is totally planned. It is completely and utterly a part of a strategy designed by somebody to harm and cause hatred in our country. When I hear of my friend's murder and the way that it has made me and my colleagues feel and feel scared, described as humbug, I actually don't feel anger towards the Prime Minister. I feel pity for those of you who still have to toe his line. Calling me names, putting words in my mouth and in the mouth of my dead friend makes me cross and angry. It makes me scared even. But I will not react. The Prime Minister wants me to react so that I join in the chaos that keeps this hatred and fear on our streets.